is cross eyed. Hello. Yeah. See your belly. No, please. Oh. How did you get past me? This must be Schmidt. Yeah. <gasps> You're that little me. <laughs> You have all this space and you like to hang out in the bathroom. Typical cat, you want to be in a box. Oh. <laughs> you guys have a room with a view. you all kinds of toys and you want to play with the sticks. <laughs> Silly duffer. Sticks are so crunchy, huh? Tear them up. Oh, yes. Tear them up. Tear up that stick. Warms my heart. Are you playing? Such an old arthritic cat. I'll let you in there. Okay. I am. Ready? Is that part new? Got some new dirt. What's she doing out there, Cameron? You should go see. Volunteers mowed your yard. Very pretty now. rescued those beautiful blue point Siamese and their tiny little kittens who are only like three days old. So what we'll do is we'll take care of them, let her nurse them until they're weaned, and then take them back to the Humane Society where they will all get fixed and reclaim their forever homes. I hear the pressure washer running. I know that my 73-year-old mother has been pressure washing the deck 
You want to start with bins together? And he's got um, pills in there. Yeah, stick it up and under chicken. And him, this one's locked out. Second, two lockouts, or he's just. Well, he's he's a little confused. Oh. Because, um, <laughs> there used to be a tunnel right there where he could just walk in here. And oh, this was the one. Lockouts around. We switched everything. Okay, this was the one that I saw last time when he was over there. Yeah, so he he gets a little confused about how he's he thinks there's a tunnel because I understand why he can't come through. <laughs> Yes, I am. So all she just she just walked around the side to gauge to get him to <laughs> come to her. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I, gotta go that way. I saw that's what she did on the other one. Then. I'm surprised she dropped her bucket. But usually the bucket is the symbol. It's like, oh yes, that's what I want to follow. Oh, there you got it. <laughs> we have to walk him around every night because he's always at that tunnel door. Come on, mister. That one's got food on the plate, so. Those guys are all just the odd sheep and wine. wine. About this one? Finishing up the last ones. Do you guys have any cougars or leopards that you're going to be feeding? Or are you done? We did the leopards. Um, uh, sassy. Sassafras? Sassy, sassy. Okay. All right, we'll do sassy. That's a cougar. That's a cougar. Oh, that's him right there? Uh, no, right here. Wow, he is beefy. Is that the way they normally look, or is it just darker? Um, cougars range all the way across the United States, so depending on where they're here, they can be very different in size when you work on like 50 pounds or 250 pounds. 
out the lockouts down for her. And they're um, and their color is very different. It can be from like a really light gray to a dark red. Look at the notice the difference in the colors. Put this one with the clod, anyways. The one in the front here has claws. The one behind oh. is freezing in and out of her lockout. Oh, I see. I see the cages down there. I was wondering why he wasn't going in there. <laughs> He's the smartest cat yet. Yeah, that's the first one I've seen do that. <clears throat> Grab it and take it in there and eat it in the... stand alongside the creek outside my home. But I saw something moving in the water as I was getting out of my car coming home tonight. And sure enough, that's what it is. It's little moose is coming up right on the far bank there, eating the hyacinth or whatever those are. <gasps> There's another one! Over there! I guess that makes sense. They travel in pods. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh! I'll bet he's 10 feet long. <laughs> 